Hey YouTube, Sunday afternoon. Sorry about the hand. Oh, she's a breezy 45, 46 degrees Fahrenheit out. I've been farting around a little bit out here. Got the wife's alcohol containers all taken care of. Those are all good to go. A little cart that somebody threw out. It had plywood attached to it on the base and the back. I ripped it off. It's not a bad little cart. It does work. The wheels are in good shape. Mind you, it's not heavy duty by any means. It is convertible. It'll lay down, you know, and you switch the handle around. It's a handy little toy to have. I have about five of them. People keep throwing them out. Here's that wheelbarrow. That thing dumps, which I think is pretty cool. See? Just like that. Just a little lever. It's got locking wheels, which is pretty good. It even tells you who's on, who's off. I think that's all the way off. There we go. See that? Wheel spins. It's not sitting level. That tire holds air, that one does not. There, locks in place. I cleaned it up a bit, gave it a paint job. Little trim clad, glossy black. Yeah, it won't look like that after her first use, but that's just fine. Scrapping chairs, scrapping chair, scrapping chair to lawn chair. That was scrap. You'd swear they kept it in the, in the basement all their life because that's original webbing. And it's not even sun bleached. There's not even rips or tears. I sit in it. It's not the best thing for my back. Those things recline. We have about eight of them. People threw them out. Put a little pad on them or sit on them like that. So I've been farting around out here a little bit. Probably can't notice any difference. The wall has moved back a bit. There's a few items here. My extruded aluminum bin, which is the old cast tub. See, it's open here. I can't move that by hand. And now it's heavier, but anyways, that's all clean aluminum. Don't look at the screen. Anything below the screen in the tub is clean. Extruded aluminum. Oliver. Good to go. That's been stripped, stripped. Uh, I thought I did another one. I guess not. That one had a lot of nice uh, aluminum heat sinks in it. Pretty nice. I plugged it in first, see if it would go. All I did was click off and on. Hydro wire's been moved. Yeah, I have to strip that yet. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting about this guy. I put him over here. Cause I do believe he'll probably run. It is a Sears dust blocker, easy empty bag. Cool. I like side discharge myself. I'm not a bagger guy. I had one on a riding mower too. What a pain in the ass. You do a few strips and you gotta unload. Whew, something rotten over here. It's my extra scaffold planks. Yeah, I think something got underneath my scaffold planks there. I don't see anything. That's just a skid under there, but somebody did. Yeah, well, we haven't seen the possum all spring. I hope it wasn't him that crawled in there and died. That's my shred bin. Think it's pretty high? <laughs> I'm going to stand beside it. See? This is my height. I'm looking straight in through my eyes, so imagine how much higher that is. Mind you, that's not done yet. That's not stripped yet, obviously. Keepsake. I gotta rip that rad apart. Not 100% sure on how to do it. It's, it's actually a dual rad. Looks like it must be a tranny cooler, maybe. Air conditioning isn't, unless this is a complete air conditioning rad. No. I can't see the air conditioning rad being that close. 
couple screws I guess takes it off okay yeah this one crimps too it's just plastic and then to be aluminum I did one of them oh it's already in the bin uh, I think it might be in with the extruded aluminum yeah I stuck it in there there it is right there came apart pretty nice it's a tiny little thing heavy steels getting piled up again I didn't even see you lay in there it stuck right in the handle of the barbecue <laughs> it's hiding seeking on me so anyways what I've been stripping I'm going for a little walk I've been throwing it back in the trailer got my trailer back here again long fluorescent lights dishwasher fridge wash machine I got the wash machine left up like that so I can fill it up with the small stuff the old Sears shop back it's all steel that was different that's imagine that's fairly old that's the lid motor was sitting in that empty void there that was all cast aluminum no I haven't picked at it yet you know when you're out of the wind over here it's not so bad it's kind of an east northeast blow not so nice thinking of using that that's a double car door put it right along here kind of hide that shit my wife said no she doesn't want a wall okay she's the boss oh by the way all you mothers out there that watch my videos happy mother's day my wife's at work lucky her And I think I'll take her out for dinner tonight. She's not my mommy, but she is the mother of my kids. I don't have a mommy anymore. Both my mommies, birth mommy and adoptive mommy, have passed on. Same with the parents, or the fathers. Even lost siblings. Older brother, older sister. I'm outlasting everybody. It's not good. So more of a mess yet, bed rails, wow they're like a dime a dozen around here anymore. I've been watching Collective Treasures picking adventures, she seems to have no problem selling them. She's over there in Michigan, but uh, we've tried, we get so many of them given to us, especially scrapping. And. Uh, We've even give, donated them to, uh, it's called uh, Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, I won't go into that one. I really don't donate to them anymore. Sometime I'll explain it to you. But, uh, well, my one question is with it. Habitat for Humanity is for people who can't afford... I guess buying a house like I'm not a hundred percent sure how that works but you're living in an apartment paying rent how can you not afford to buy a house if you're paying anything over eight hundred dollars a month rent either including or plus utilities how could you not afford to buy a house is it the down payment well, I know they have in Ontario, they have first time home buyers assistance on the down payment, or not the down payment, but uh, yeah, like a down payment. You have to pay, I don't know, X amount of dollars up front on your loan, right? Your mortgage, and then you start paying monthly. Well, they'll look at your credit history, they'll look at course how you paid rent as long as you paid your rent on time if you pay more than $800 a month rent you should be able to afford a house like it doesn't have to be a fancy million dollar mansion 
because no, 800 bucks a month you will not afford that. But you can buy a handyman special, something like what I got. Doesn't cost much at all. Don't mind me, I'm picking up some aluminum. We have an outdoor pet. Not sure what it is, possum or cat. I haven't seen it at night. I throw in a scoop of dog food every night and it's gone every morning. Um, but anyways, I'm getting off track here. Like, I, I'm not understanding 100% how that is. Like, if you can't afford anything, how can you even afford a free house? You still got property taxes. You still got utilities. Obviously, you're living in an apartment at one point. You can't tell me you've been living on the street and then all of a sudden they build you a house and here, have a nice life. It doesn't work that way. But I'm kind of curious how it works. But that's why I really don't like donating to them because I don't agree with it. Because then why is it only like one or two houses a year being built? There's got to be more and more people that are in the same boat. That's what I'm trying to get at. But I don't want to get into it too much. So, yes, it's another rant. I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't even put this one out. But anyways, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Scrapping mothers. You know who you are. I'd rattle you off, but I'd be afraid to miss on one. So I'm not going to. You all know who you are. The rain held off. We were supposed to have rain by 9 o'clock today. We didn't get any. It does look like it on the west that there might still be some coming. I guess it's all right. It's a little after 4 p.m. So I think that's... About it. Like I said, you didn't see much of a change. I know I made a bit of a change. It's a little area. Like I said, I wanted this area cleaned up. It is. As soon as those alcohol bottles disappear tomorrow, it'll all be cleaned up. The lawn chair will be put away. It folds right up. I'm not going to scrap it. Normally I do because they're all aluminum. But that one's in too good of shape. And same with that one. Like, I don't get it. Why do you throw them out? I'll show you how nice this one looks. See that? One-handed opening. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look brand new. Well, yeah, you can tell me, but... I don't get it. It collapse up nice. I have a few of them. I hang them up in the garage. This one I like to sit in out here. That's why it stays out here. That's my wife's chair. That was mine, but it's bad for my back. That's better. That's, yeah. Not 100% sure if it's going to stay or not, but the one woman that likes to sit in that likes those chairs, so. Anyways, that's it. Enough ranting. Happy Mommy's Day. Probably for the third time. Talk at y'all later. Have a good week coming up. Enjoy yourself. Like, subscribe, and share. Or not. Take care.